As Parliament has yet to officially declare the Ajusso parliamentary seat vacant to make way for a by-election following the demise of the Member of Parliament for the area, John Kuma, names of interested persons seeking to succeed the late MP are emerging. One of such is a former president of the Ghana Football Association, Kwesi Nyantechi. City News' is Ashanti Regional Correspondent Hafez Tijani reports. Although Mr. Nyantechi believes contesting the Jisu by election is possible, he maintains that the constituency is still grieving the loss of the late Deputy Finance Minister. Mr. Nyantechi, in an interview in Kumase at the launch of the new Patriotic Party's Ashanti Regional Campaign Team, subtly expressed his intentions to contest the Ejusu by election when the time is due. The Ejusu by election will definitely come on, but a timetable has not been published yet. So we don't know those who want to contest. Since I come from there and I have the right to contest, at the right time, we'll see what will happen. By the moment, we are mourning the demise of a very illustrious son of, of con the constituency. The whole uh, parliament, uh, what's it called? The member of parliament for the constituency is a big loss to the constituency. And let's see what happens after the one week. Yeah. To do what? I said after the one week, we'll tell you whether we have plans or not. But it's possible. Calls for unity among MPP members ahead of the 2024 general elections dominated the inauguration of the party's Ashanti Regional Campaign Team. Chief of Staff Akosia Frima Opari says recent issues between some aggrieved elected regional executives and the Ashanti Regional MPP Chairman Bernard Ntribu Siakun, popularly called Chairman Wuntumi, have been resolved. Yes, I've noticed a lot of happenings, but I also noticed that it's been resolved. And I think what we need to do is to look forward. Because as people have sat down and George George and they now understand each other, there is no problem. The MPP's national campaign chairman, Dan Kwekubotre, and the former GFA president, Kwesinya Antechi, also commented on the running mate selection by the party's flag bearer. Presidential candidate will, is consulting widely. He will meet the national council with the name or names. Together with the national council, the decision will be made and it will be announced. Are you still considering a female, a female? No, I don't know. I'm not, it hasn't come to my attention. I've not been party to any discussion to that, no, I'm not. But I'm saying that it's something that we do. When I was General Secretary, 2000, President Kofor did it. We can come to National Executive, you know, we discuss it, we just announce it. 2004, we pitched the same person, we announced it. It has not been a problem to us at all. It's not a contentious issue. It's a prerogative of the flag bearer to select a running mate. So let's leave it to him. At the right time, I'm sure he will do that. I don't think anybody can force a candidate, a presidential candidate, to select a president. Chairman Wuntumi, an MP for Busuntri, Dr. Yao Osei Editum, expressed confidence in the MPP's victory. A big party like this, sometimes you will have a human face. It's a very normal. In our houses and our companies and our offices, sometimes we have misunderstanding. But it doesn't mean that we are not united. As today, what you have witnessed here has given clear indication that MPP, we are poised to unite and win the 2024 elections. This nation will be in better hands with Dr. Mohamed Baumia at the forefront. Ashanti will come together. Ashanti, the soul of our party, will come together. Ashanti will work and will change the fortunes of this country. The new patriotic party says the integration of regional campaign teams will strengthen the party's efforts going into the 2024 general election. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Kumasi, Ashanti region.